Uh, before we go into this, um, I the one my my wonderful journey with Nightwish started at the very beginning of the Decomposer Lounge, and I had done you know I just get suggestions like I'm like I just still do, and somebody says yeah, I should listen to Nightwish and stuff, and I was you know completely blown away by everything that they represented. Uh, I didn't realize at whom and at what time I was listening at what year to what bass player or what lead singer and realize that it's a very rich history of uh, of music that this band had put out. But I will say one thing. What a hell of a fan base. <laughs> uh, the loyalty, um, their sheer joy and passion for the music is just outstanding. I mean, I kind of liken that kind of passion and loyalty to fans of like you know tool and stuff like that i mean i'm not gonna don't it will ah, before anybody comes back going, how dare you put those two in the same sentence in the same breath i think you know what i'm talking about i'm talking about that loyalty that 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 dedication to the music uh, and whatever it is the connectivity from the band to the art of uh, band to the fan is it's outstanding plus actually nightwish was my very first introduction introduction to that uh, European, Nordic, uh, opera metal, theater metal, um, very gallant. Um, I learned all the terms or whatever. So I look forward to this. So let's do this. Um, this is Nightwish, Creek Mary's Blood. And I, so I don't know who's the lead singer at what year. I guess maybe this is Tarja Turunen. Uh, I think she's one of the singers. So maybe this looks like it's going to be one of the early releases. If not, I'm sure you'll tell me. Here we go. <laughs> something else they are so steeped in culture and authenticity that's another big takeaway that I've got from Nightwish in their mission musically We can lightly hear that flute instrument. It's there. Or is it the move? I don't know.
Big stadium rock ballad vibe there. Barely hear that bass there, but that was a great little turn around there. So this is a little more of the sound of Nightwish that I recognize. I mean, they're playing to uh, playback tracks, it doesn't matter. I mean, but you can hear the big, you know, uh, French horns and some of the string arrangements in the background. Oh, well, he's got a great voice. Jeez. I'm going to be leaning into it like I wanted to get a little louder. Oh, that's kind of that's a massive stadium they're playing. That's intense. So at least by virtue of this, you can hear the tracks that are playing behind it. Um, obviously heavily supported by the band and everybody. There's no two ways about that. 
but that's one of the things that um, uh, I've I've listened I've, well, I've done about seven or eight tracks, maybe nine tracks from Nightwish. Um, but they've been a little bit more of the later uh, iterate uh, the later uh, works with uh, I forgot the name of the uh, the the other singer, but uh, God, I, and I, I guess the bass player just quit last year or a year and a half ago. Floor Jansen, right? Thank you. Um, but the one thing that I, I I've always been pulled in just beyond listening to the music. I can get into music, I break it down. I'm listening to it; it's great. It's just the connection between their music and the fans is so tremendously powerful, you know. Um, and you know the the mystic storytelling is so it, to me is really super authentic. Obviously, I, I don't speak the language that this gentleman was for his culture, but um, what I did like though in his performance, number one is the tone of his voice while he was singing was absolutely amazeballs. But this last bit where he was speaking almost uh, it, the, 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 the cadence percussively was really super, super cool with what was playing. Now, the singer, which I believe is, is Tarja, um, she has a beautiful voice, very storytelling, a different kind of power than Floor Jansen. Um, more of more of a mystical pulling kind of tone to her voice. I think Floor has a little bit more of a metal kind of vibe in. She can thrust that through, you know, in a more power operatic kind of way and, 